Hey everybody, it's Mary from Mary's Cup of Tea and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today we are talking about something super emotionally charged, something that I'm sure all of us have felt before and that is this feeling of feeling fat. Now I have a feeling that you clicked on this video because you either feel fat right now or you have at some point in your life felt fat. And this video has no plan whatsoever. I'm just going to talk to you, give you a solid ass pep talk, and explain to you how to stop feeling fat right the hell now. So let's get to it. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you're going to want to because I make new videos on self-love and body confidence every single week. Okay, for real. Let's get to the video. I remember when I first started my recovery and self-love journey, I came across this graphic on Pinterest that said, you are not fat. You have fat. You have fingernails too. That doesn't mean you are fingernail. And I remember thinking that was so clever, but now looking back, there is a major problem with this statement. And that is that it is just juiced up with this thing called fat phobia. Now, what is fat phobia? Fat phobia is the fear and or hatred of fat people or fat bodies. And I know that this is a really hard concept to wrap your brain around because we are so used to hearing fat jokes. We're so used to seeing fat as this undesirable thing to be, as this thing to avoid. When we gain a little bit of weight, we panic. When we hear somebody insult somebody else, it's always like, you're fat and ugly. You're not just ugly, you're fat and ugly. Or if you're stupid, you're fat and stupid. Or you're fat and lazy. It always comes with an insult. It has all these negative connotations to it, and it is this thing that society has deemed the most unattractive, the most worst, this almost criminalized thing to be. And that is why we spend our whole lives living in this fear. And what you don't realize is that society has actually fear-mongered you. And do you know what fear-mongering is? Fear-mongering is when someone or something or society manipulates you using fearful tactics in order to get us to conform and to obey. And I know this sounds very dramatic, but if you think about it, the impact that this has is huge. I mean, 96% of women report being unhappy with their appearance. If that's not a problem, I don't know what is. It is what is keeping women small. It's what's keeping women so obsessed with their bodies and their body image that we are just prevented from doing big things in our lives. And let me give you an example. If you are feeling fat right now, do you feel like you can take over the world? Do you feel like you are worthy of love? If somebody came to you and started like caressing your whole body, would you be all game for it or would you push them away and be like, no, I feel fat right now? I used to be the person that would do that. If I felt fat, I wouldn't do anything else in my life. I wouldn't go out there. I wouldn't talk to people. I wouldn't let my boyfriend touch me. It just spiraled out of control because feeling fat, like I said, was associated with all these bad, terrible, awful things. And if I felt fat, then I wasn't worthy of even experiencing life. And that's how bad it got. Do you relate to this? If you do, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what this feeling fat looks like for you personally, because I'm sure it's different for everybody. Yet, I know that we can all relate to pieces of each other's journey. So anyways, how do we get through this feeling of fat? Okay, first of all, you have to stop, stop, stop right now describing your feelings as fat. Like I said, fat isn't actually a feeling. So that Pinterest graphic had a point to it. Fat is not a feeling and there are other more productive ways to describe your feelings. For example, are you feeling unworthy? Are you feeling rejected? Are you feeling scared that other people aren't going to accept you? Are you feeling fearful that somebody is going to notice your fatness? Are you nervous? Are you stressed? Are you anxious? Are you just feeling low and down and sad and depressed? And we often resort to saying, I feel fat because it's so much easier to blame our body than it is to deal with the actual emotions that are going on. I'm going to say that again. It is so much easier to just blame our body than to deal with the actual emotions that are going on. So I want to empower and invite you to identify exactly what you are feeling and where it's coming from and address that instead of blaming your beautiful body. 
Just because you didn't take a poop this morning doesn't mean that nobody loves you, okay? And I promise that once you are able to clearly articulate what you are feeling, once you're able to really pinpoint exactly what you're feeling, it's going to be a lot easier to address than just this generalized thing of feeling fat. Like, what does that even mean? Who's Who can even help you when you tell somebody that you're feeling fat? However, if you say you're feeling sad about X, Y, and Z, then we can begin to talk about it. Well, why are you feeling sad? What happened? What triggered it? What What is going on in your head? What would help? All this stuff. But if you just say, I'm feeling fat, and then the other person, your friend, for example, is like, no, you're not fat. And I know this is with good intentions, but all she's doing when she's saying, no, you're not fat, she is reinforcing the idea that fat is bad. And like I said, fat is not bad. Fat is not the worst thing you can be. Having fat on your body is natural and normal, and we all have it. And some of us have more of it, while others have less of it, but that doesn't mean that any one of us is more worthy than the other. That is just the truth. Go out there, make a difference, talk to people, do your work, move on with your freaking life, and stop letting feeling fat run your day. The more you let feeling fat run your day, the more insecure and self-conscious you are going to get. If you just get dressed, put on an outfit you love, and go kill your day, you are going to feel so much better about your body and yourself. Another thing you have to do in order to combat this feeling fat after you have identified your feelings and gotten dressed and up and ready for the day is to feel what it's like to be in your body in this exact moment. Why the hell does it matter how other people see my body, especially if I haven't even given my chance to feel in my body? So I talk about this a lot. It's the difference between your body image versus your body experience. And the perfect opportunity to practice this is when you are feeling fat, because then you can actually practice, like, what is this experience that I'm having in my body? Like, oh, there's softness. Okay, softness is fine. Or, oh, there's some rolls. All right, everybody has roles or oh look at that my body is actually functioning the exact same way as it did yesterday when I wasn't feeling fat have you ever had like random bad body image days and you literally have no idea why some days are better than others it just kind of comes at you that is seriously proof that body image is all in your head because I promise that your body doesn't just change drastically in 24 hours. That is our body dysmorphia talking. So really focus on your body experience and focus on all the things that your body can do even if your mind is telling you that you're feeling fat. I hope this helps you overcome this feeling of fat and especially encourages you to stop saying I feel fat as a way to describe your feelings. I think that's the biggest takeaway from this video because it is hurting so many more people than just yourself. One last thought. I don't know if you've ever been in this position, but I had a friend who would always, always insult her body, and this was a friend in high school, and I at the time was much bigger than her. I mean, she was like a little bean, and I always had some curves, and she would insult her body, and she would talk about how fat she is and how she needs to lose weight and how nothing fits her and all this stuff, and I'm just like... Oh my god, if you talk about yourself like that, what are you thinking or even saying about me behind my back? And it is just the most hurtful thought. And that just took a big toll on me because like I said, it perpetuates this fat phobia, it perpetuates this idea of like, if I'm not small, am I just unworthy? Are you not going to be my friend anymore? Do you think I'm butt ugly? Do you not think I'm a good human? And it just hurts. So let's stop saying I feel fat as a way to describe our feelings. And I hope that you can move through this feeling, which I know all too too well using these new tools. So let, so let me know if this video helped you, if it resonated, if you've ever felt like this before. I would love to hear from you in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up as well and subscribe to my channel for more videos on body confidence every single week. Mwah.